My name is Yamtando Kulisi and this is my story. I haven't always had aspirations of becoming a rugby player. Um, only later, um, when I think I was 12 years old, obviously, then I wanted to, but I was always playing rugby. So when I got the bursary, I think when I was um, about 16 years old, I said, okay, this is something that I really want to do professionally. Rugby has shaped my life since I was young. Uh, a lot of the things that I doing now a lot of things that i've learned i learned when i was young and i think i'm just getting a little bit more experience the, the more I, I play so i think from when i was young already um i i learned a lot you know respect um accountability teamwork so i learned all of that when i was young i know i'm not i'm not here because of myself it's it's not it's not me and it's never been about me it's ever been it's been about everyone around me and obviously i'm i'm, I'm a believer in and I believe that someone above me is, is, um, has handed me all of this and given me all of this opportunity. And, um, and so I'm just here to manage, you know, all that, you know and, and also like the people I keep around me, uh, my family, um, you know, my close circle of friends, you know, they always tell me when I get a bit um, overboard or if I get a bit big headed and we all do sometimes, you know, you feel too good about yourself. And, and someone's got to come and, and, and know, have a check. And also my values and what I stand for. Sometimes you can feel this feels uncomfortable when you step out of those, of you know, their values and everything that you believe in. So when I was young, dreams were limited, you know, because um, of what we had around us. So don't limit your dreams to, what your, to your surroundings. You can always achieve it because just look at people. There are so many people who've probably been in the same position as you or worse, who've made it out of them. So look at them and say, you know what? I'm going to base my dreams on that because I've got a reference point and hopefully us here as the Sharks are the reference points for some of the people who are in the same situation as we were when we were young. My grandmother was a big one. She looked out for me when I was young. You know, I spent a lot of time with her and I think I learned of who I am and all my values from her. So yeah, that's, that's been, she's been the big one for me. And, and some of the people that I've met, met along the way, you know, I remember the first Springboks I've ever seen in person and watched in person was Soli Chibilika, who, who was a shark as well. He's from New Brighton. I watched him down the road by my house. Um, and yeah, there's just so many people to be very hard for me to, to you know, to choose um, a, a few. But yeah, it's always good. And it's not always people who, who, are, who are like famous or anything like that. It's normally the close ones around me. No matter where you are, uh, no matter what, current, what your current situation is, and no matter how many people tell you that this is it, this is all you are, that's not always the truth. You just gotta focus on you, and no matter how big or how small your dreams are, you need to believe in, in them more than anyone else, because no one is gonna believe in your dreams more than um, you will, and nobody will fight for your dreams as much as you should. And you use all that you have around you, to make sure that you know you bring yourself uh, closer to whatever goal it is that you want and it might look tough but you must always remember there's been people who've done it before from the same environment around you so do your research read about people get people who've been in the same situation as you and there's always been it's always like that there's always will be someone who's been in the same position as you so use outside uh, energy but sometimes the most important one is the one that comes from you and you need to believe in you more than anyone else